begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of each Thou renounce Satan, all his angels, all his works, all his service, and all his pride. I do. Dost thou renounce Satan, all his angels, all his works, all his service, and all his pride? I do. Hast thou renounced Satan? I have. Hast thou renounced Satan? I have. Hast thou renounced Satan? I have. Then breathe and spit upon him. <clears throat> and again, three times. Dost thou unite thyself unto Christ? I do. Dost thou unite thyself unto Christ? I do. Dost thou unite thyself unto Christ? I do. Hast thou united thyself unto Christ? I have. Hast thou united thyself unto Christ? I have. Hast thou united thyself unto Christ? I have. Dost thou believe in him? I believe in him as King and God. Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord our God, it's called thy servant. Catherine, to the holy illumination, grant her the great grace of the holy baptism, that off from her the old man, and renew her with life everlasting. Fill her with the power of the Holy Spirit, in the unity of thy Christ, that she may be no more a child of the body, but a child of thy kingdom. Through the good will and grace of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord, have mercy. And the Lord God will hearken unto the voice of our petition. 
petition. Let us pray for He will deliver her us from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy spirit. All in the remembrance are all holy and accurate, most blessed and glorious, Lady the Theotokos, and the Lord of all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in our life unto Christ our God. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There is no word which is sufficient to him thy wonder. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There is no word which is sufficient to him thy wonder. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works. There is no word which is sufficient to him thy wonder. For thou that own good will has brought into being all things which before were not, and by thy might thou upholds creation, by thy providence thou orderest the world. For thou who art God, inexpressible, everlasting, didst descend upon earth and take the semblance of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Wherefore, O Lord, because of love to mankind, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Wherefore, O King who loves mankind, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Grant unto it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan. Make it a fountain of incorruption, the gift of sanctification, the remission of sins, the remedy of infirmities, the final destruction of demons, unassailable by hostile powers, filled with angelic might, that those who would ensnare thy creature will flee far from it. For we have called upon thy name, O Lord. It is wonderful and glorious and terrible unto adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed and even the sign of thy cross. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign in the image of thy cross. And we pray to you, O God, that every day be with you all. Send unto them who were in the ark of Noah, thy dove, bearing in its feet a twig of olive, the token of reconciliation and salvation from the flood, the foreshadowing of the mystery of grace, and did provide the fruit of the olive for the fulfilling of the holy mysteries, who thereby fillest them that are under the law with the Holy Spirit, and perfect them that are under grace. Bless also this holy oil with the power, operation, and dwelling of the Holy Spirit, it may be an anointing and doing corruption, an armor of righteousness the renewing of soul and body, the averting of every assault of the devil, deliverance from the evil of those who shall be anointed therewith in faith, partakers thereof, and glory, and the glory of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art and thine all holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of each Let us attend, alleluia, 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 Blessed is God who wills that who illumines and sanctifies every man that cometh into the, into the world, now and ever and unto the ages of each of The child of God, Catherine, is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Unto the hearing of faith, thy hands have made and fashioned me that she may walk in the way of his commandments. Amen. <clears throat> All right. The child of God, Catherine, is baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I know. 
Catherine is shorn in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
of the Holy Paul to the, to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, know ye not that as many of us as were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead to the glory of the Father. We're praying our prayers through the fast. This is how we avail ourselves of the grace of God. She is started on the journey in, in utero when mom and pop are praying, and then at the hospital, and the eighth day naming, and, and all of, everything where you avail ourselves of God's grace in all kinds of ways, most exceptionally in baptism, most expressly in baptism. And then our life becomes a life of baptism, baptized into his death and his resurrection, you know? So that's why you guys are going to pray for her as godparents it's on you you carry a burden this is a, and all of us that are godparents need to realize we have a burden for those that are our godchildren is she sleeping no she's chewing on my clothes <laughs> okay we have a burden because we've been asked to uphold all those things we've prayed you know we prayed that she would keep this baptismal garment undefiled you know, and as she grows older, now grows this baptismal garment, just her soul, you know, that her soul would be undefiled. And that is on us to pray for, for her. And then it's, on, and then at some point it's on her, you know, she's too young to make that decision all on her own, but she needs, we need you parents and godparents, and then all of us, we need to help her. And then I hope that you'll transfer this to yourself. We need to help her to avail herself of the grace of God, which is communion when it's time, confession, you know, and all of the, like, life in the church, being in the liturgy as often as we can. Daily if possible, is what they say. As often as we can, daily if possible. So to, that, that we would also, all of us, would bring our kids to all the services. Are they getting a lot out of it? The answer is yes. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it in the moment. Are we getting a lot out of it in the moment? Sometimes the answer is no. Like, what's going on here? You know, all of them distracted. Nothing's going on. But what we are actually doing, not yet, not yet, I'm almost done. We are availing ourselves of the grace of God. That's why we're coming to church, not because we couldn't think of something else to do on Sunday. You know, we come because out in the world, we are, we find ourselves pulled away from the grace of God. We come to church to avail ourselves of the grace of God, to attract the grace of God. God's love is coming no matter what. So we're not coming to church to earn God's love. Be clear about that. God loves us far from church, close to church, whatever. But if we're far from church, we do not have the grace of God. We've separated ourselves from the grace of God. He loves us. But the sacraments, the life in the church, the prayers, the prayers at home connect to the prayers at church, that is the grace of God coming at us. He could send his grace at any time, but we want to be wherever the grace of God is. So that's what, we're, that's what happens next. What just happened was uniting her to Christ's death and resurrection. But now we have to teach her all that God has commanded. And she's too young to, to understand with this, but her heart, she can have the grace of God. So for all of us, this is what we're after. This is what we're about, you know? We're almost done. <laughs> I'm going to give it back to see if she'll... I know, it's okay. <laughs> Please stand where finish up. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for mercy. 
mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the newly illumined servant of God, Catherine, Catherine and her sponsors, and her parents, and her on all here present, and for the part in the remission of their sins. unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Baptism in the Jordan for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate mother and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Grant, O Lord, a prosperous, peaceful life health, salvation, visitation, furtherance, and all good things to the child of God, Catherine, to her godparents, Chad and Molly, her parents, her grandparents, and all of her friends and parishioners, and may God grant you many years.